I'll, I'll start with this. A few minutes ago, Coach Rule was talking about essentially the heartbreak that comes in losing those first two games, but also what it can do to motivate this team. What do you take from those losses that is propelling you into the first division game? You know, just learning. You know what I'm saying? I don't overthink it, you know. It's not like we, we just lost that game by three points. We lost the week before by like a couple points. You know what I'm saying? It's not like we getting killed. We really, you know what I'm saying, just got simple things to correct. We right there though. Like when you watch the film and things like that, from our perspective, we right there. We, you know what I'm saying, play here and there. Simple things away from really being what we want to be at. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just motivated by it. Knowing that you are that close, what are some of the things that you're encouraged by when you see on film, hey, we made these mistakes and we're still within five points over the last two games? That is, it's, 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 it's controllable by us, you know what I'm saying? It's not that we just out there, it's not like we just getting getting killed, you know what I'm saying? Like getting blown out, like just getting dumb, it's not, that's not the case, you know what I'm saying? So I'm motivated by that that we can control it. How important is it for y'all to get one here at Bank of America Stadium where the team has struggled recently? Not every game is important, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're all important. But, you know, this is probably, you know, a little bit more important. It's a divisional game, so it's very important. How tough is it to play free, you know, not think about anything when you know the margin of error is so tight right now versus going out there just like doing you know, whatever? It's not, it's not tough, you know what I'm saying? That's, this game, that's what this game is built of, you know what I'm saying? We talking about regular season games early in the year. Our goal is the Super Bowl. That's going to be tough, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's what come with it. This is not this is not an easy game, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's what we signed up for, and, and we know what comes with it. But it's not, you know, it's not tough. It, it's what it is. It's the sport. Ronnie, you played in New York with some pretty unforgiving fans. Any concern about kind of negative energy among the fan base here starting to kind of, we kind of hurt at week one a little bit when y'all got off to that slow start? If you ask me, if that's, if that's, if, if, if that's not our fans, you know what I'm saying? If they, you know, a fan's going to have your back regardless, yeah, they're going to be disappointed, but you ask me, a fan's not going to do that, you know what I'm saying? They're going to stand behind you regardless and support you no matter what. You know, so if you ask me, that's not really fan. That's just, you know, I don't know what that is, but I don't consider that a fan. Do you, is it hard to tune out, or did you kind of get accustomed to that in some of those slow seasons? I don't, I don't, I don't even hear that, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I make a big play, I don't even hear the crowd. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's new to me, you know? What do you hear? I mean, what do you feel when you make a big play like that 75 yard touchdown? It just, it like, when I, like that, it just felt like, honestly, that felt like a dream. Like, it just felt like I was, like, floating. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know, I've been playing this game so long, you don't hear the crowd. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, like, it just kind of goes blank. Something we also just heard from Matt was, given how close it has been, looking for guys just willing to take it personally and to be that person, to be the playmaker. How much of that do you take on? Nah, you know, I'm, I'm playing this game for Coach Rule. You feel me? Like, more than anything, you know, because he, 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 he deserves it. He's getting a lot of blame that it's, it's not him, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, from me knowing what we know as a team, like, he's telling us what we need to do. He can't coach and play, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's not out there to make us do the simple things he's, they're putting in that position to do. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm playing this game for him. What do you feel holding or, I guess, feeling that responsibility, knowing some of the heat that he gets from the outside? I mean, that's what comes with it, you know? You know, the outside is, it, it, I, I can't speak on, but, you know, people like to find somebody to blame for things, you know? And he's, he's at the top of the chart, you know? So that's just what comes with you know, his position, his job, but, you know, knowing what we know, it's really not, he's doing, he's doing what he needs to do. Have you verbalized that to him this week, or has anybody, like, you know, kind of using this as a rally you know, cry? With me and Coach Rude, this shit, you know, ever since, you know, since he's always been standing on business by me, and always had my back, you know, my, my way of telling him and showing him, you know? When you were with the Jets, I don't know what it felt like, but people expected you guys to lose every week, it seemed like. Are you starting to feel that same way here? I mean, nine straight losses? or We only played two games this year. So that's inaccurate. And I don't, I, don't, I don't feed into that. You know, people had their expectations. You might have expected it to rain today, you know what I'm saying? And it didn't. So everybody has their speculations and expectations. We all good? Thank you, Bobby. All right.